In this video, I wanted to show you how to create special storage locations and specifically special scrap locations that can be used for different inventory write-off um, or like internal use purposes. So to do that, uh, you can go into the inventory module and if you click on configurations and you'll see this location. If you don't see this location um, option, then you may have to go under settings and turn on storage locations. By default, uh, there's only a single location in the system and that's a stock location. But if you go ahead and remove this internal filter, you'll see that there's a couple of different other specialty locations. So by default, you'll get an inventory adjustment, a production, and a scrap location. And that's just the, the default three. So scrap is typically for inventory loss purposes where you um, maybe some material was damaged or inventory was damaged and you just want to write it off. It's unusable. Well, a lot of times you want to create a couple of different inventory locations. So you could come in here and do uh, a location called store use and you can make that a sub of a vir what we call our virtual locations and then there's this location type so we don't want to do an internal location that's used for holding inventory what we're going to do is what we call an inventory loss location so it means we're going to write the value of that off and we're going to go ahead and check is a scrap location so this controls using our scrap method. So if you were to do operations and scrap, um, it will give you the option to scrap it in that location as well. The key element that you're gonna wanna make sure to configure is your incoming and outgoing accounts. This is where do you want the value of that inventory to go? So traditionally I would set up a, a special chart of account for these different locations uh, to match what you're wanting to do. So in this case, we're going to do store samples and store samples. So anytime we take inventory in or out, I'm going to write it off to that chart of account. And we're going to maybe we should make this instead of store use, we'll call this store samples so that it matches. And we know exactly what that is for. Okay, so that's that's it for creating that location. Now, if I go back to my inventory, there's this internal transfers option. And I can go ahead and just click on either zero to process or internal. And I'm gonna create a new one. It's just gonna give us a default internal transfer. And where you see the source location, we're gonna pull from stock, but the destination location is what we wanna change. I'm gonna come over here and this is where I can change this and say, I wanna move this to our store sample location. And then I could come in here and add my items that I want to to either use or write off or whatever the case may be. I could come in here and say, I wanna do uh, let's see. Yeah, you just come in here and pick any, any of these products really. So I can open this up, search for any product that I want and say, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna consume, you know, one of these units or two of these units and it will take it out of stock and put it into a store sample. So, and as a loss style location, it will, it will take it out of inventory. It's gonna write it off to that chart of account that we previously selected and that's it. So you just go and create this and then click on validate when you're done and it will make all of the adjustments for you. So the only thing, uh, the only caveat to this is this works really well uh, unless you're needing to track uh, usage tax um, or use tax. You can still track it in this category if you wanna do that. Uh, but you'll have to manually calculate those taxes. The other option is if you're using it for internal purposes and you want the system to calculate and the tax that you owe on that and just run it as your normal sales tax, you can also create a sales order and sell it to yourself. Uh, and then normally what we do is we just sell it to ourselves at cost and not at MSRP or else you end up paying more use tax than you really should. So that's the other option. Or when you, just, when you look at this chart of account, you just know and you can look at that report for the month or the year and just know, hey, we used X number of dollars worth of material. So we need to pay our use tax on that. So both methods work, but this is the way of just writing off inventory to a special chart of account. 
Uh, and you can create as many of these virtual locations as you want for different purposes and map them to different chart of accounts. Uh, it makes it an easy way just to write those off without having to create a sales order, then market is delivered and create an invoice. It's a little bit faster, but again, depending on how you need to deal with your use taxes um, or any sales taxes that you may owe, it may be easier to run that as a sales order for those type of items.